Hi, I'm Devin. I'm Tim with Allied. And we're gonna go over some pumps and motors today, uh, common causes and failures. What are some of the common causes and failures of pumps and motors? Uh, the most common is contamination, which is dirt in the oil. Uh, on construction equipment, oftentimes when the operators check for oil or add oil, um, the, the breather, they end up, there's dirt caked around the lid, they end up taking it off, dirt falls down in the tank, and it will end up basically chewing up the hydraulic pump, the motor, the valves. So these two pieces mate together, and the brass and the steel have been attacked from, from dirt. And once, once the dirt attacks those two surfaces, then oil can escape past the clearances, which creates overheating. So Tim, contamination leads to overheating, and what does that look like? Uh, so what happens is the hydraulic pump is supposed to move oil. Um, a 100% efficient pump would be that it moves oil positively uh, with no losses, but there is clearances in the pump, and when the contamination chews the two parts up, it will, oil will escape the clearances and which causes overheating. It's a chain reaction, really. So I have a question for you. How would I know, as being the machine operator, that this is happening to my system? Uh, so what will happen is, um, it will actually get slow. HD03. H. Uh, the machine is supposed to dig at a certain rate, um, and it will just get uh, progressively slower. Um, once the contamination starts to uh, attack the parts and the clearances, oil will escape the clearances and it will just get slow. If I'm operating the machine, what, is, what are some things that I need to look out to not be doing? So if on a dump truck, for example, if you're trying to raise the bed and- And I'm giving it hell, I'm, I want it to go. Yeah, you're, you want to give it hell and it, yeah. you want right. to raise the bed quicker. Um, the bed should raise at, a, at a, you know, a normal rate. And if you have to give it fuel and raise the RPMs to get it to lift, it's because there's something wrong with the pump. My machine is making a squealing noise. What could be the problem? What is causing that? Uh, so you're trying to lift something that's too heavy. Um, it's going over the relief valve. If the mechanic says, hey, this thing doesn't lift enough. It doesn't, um, on a skid loader or a backhoe, it's, it's just not doing what the operator expects. So they can turn the relief valves up. Uh, when you turn the relief valves up, it's just overpressures the whole system. So don't tinker with shit you're not supposed to tinker with. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> don't be messing with shit you're not supposed to. Yeah, operators are usually good at uh, persuading the mechanic to turn some things up that they shouldn't turn up. Hey, thanks for joining us today. Uh, join us next time for some more hydraulic talk.